Hey everyone, this is Trish and welcome back to Bird Feed. Well, Unicorn Week continues on my channel as I slowly whittle away at all the really fun unicorn items collected in my OCC stash, most of which were donated by a really generous viewer. So I wanted to get everything packed and into boxes and shipped off to OCC so we can bless even more children this year. Like the box that I shared on Monday, this one is also packed for a five to nine girl with a unicorn theme. And this one I've named Unicorn Magic. I've even used the same clip art as I did on the one I shared on Monday because I thought it was really cute and colorful and I wrote on the bottom you are special but I promise you what's inside for the most part is different they might be a, a couple of items that are the same so this is what she'll see when she opens her box it's a lot of purple in this one to start she's got a t-shirt actually a whole outfit contributed by the same viewer who contributed the Chelsea car and doll and furry purse in the video I shared on Monday. And you know, for uh, making it a little bit easier, I'm gonna refer to her throughout this video as Sally, because there are quite a few things in here from her. Um, it looks like she got this one from Target. It's Cat and Jack brand, and it's a girl's large 10, 12. I really like that uh, purple, pink, and aqua kind of tie-dyed graphic on the front and it's outlined in like a silver glitter. And then to go with that shirt, also from Sally, are these pink shorts. Nice quality cotton knit with pockets and an elastic waist. Also Cat and Jack uh, Girls 10 to 12. Makes a very cute outfit. And she's got a sweet little purple Pegasus unicorn stuffy that I got on clearance at Walmart a while back. Oh, I probably after um, Valentine's Day because I got it for 29 cents. So I think I got it when it was 90% off. Or I, maybe I got it last year. And then wrapped around the leg of that unicorn, but it fell off, I had this cute watch. I found this adorable unicorn slap bracelet watch on Shein.com back in May. So unfortunately, it's no longer available. They have a lot of kids watches that are really cute. So she's got a very cute watch. This little girl also has a little Chelsea doll from Sally. And this one has dark, long dark hair, and her little outfit has a, a unicorn painted on the bodice. So the skirt is removable, and Sally made her a couple of dresses that fit Chelsea. Aren't these sweet? Look at that, with the little, little flower um, embellishment. And this one's a little sundress. One's just cuter than the next. And I slipped them into an organza bag. She's got a cute pair of sunglasses to go with her outfit and I popped it into this little unicorn eyeglass case that I got from the Dollar Tree and her sunglasses are purple. These are from Walmart. I found them on clearance for 50 cents. These are the No Boundaries brand. Very cute pair of sunglasses. She has a cute, cute unicorn compact mirror hairbrush. This is also from Sally. And that is a really cute one. I'm, I'm not sure where she got this, but it's got that um, gem effect on the front of it. I really like that one. I think I'm gonna have to take out her backpack next to get to everything else. I roll these up nice and tight. That's how it fit best in this shoe box. 
and the last one that I pack. I don't always do it that way, but um, I tried every other way. And this is the way it fit best on this one. And I, I put a rubber band on both ends. I do it real, real tight. So this one is a really pretty purple, pink, and aqua tie-dye. And I added this cute little plush unicorn bag tag that I found at Dollar General on clearance. She has a magic washcloth contributed by Sally with that cute unicorn pattern on the front. Her pencil pouch is the same as the one in Monday's unicorn shoe box in the same cute purple unicorn print pencil pouch that I found at Big Lots and inside are the same items. This little lady will also have one of these adorable furry unicorn purses also contributed by Sally. Isn't that one cute? This one's square and it's pink and purple. And in this one, I think I put her underwear, I did. So she's got a couple pairs of underwear. Let's make some room here for her purse. She's got a big unicorn print hair bow with an alligator clip on the back. That's from Dollar General. And some fun unicorn jewelry that I slipped into a little organza bag. Her necklace and earrings, well, she's got, I don't know, like three pairs of earrings, but one of them actually goes with this necklace that I got on Shein along with the watch and beaded bracelet that I showed in the box I shared on Monday. But I gave that girl a different necklace. So I put this necklace and the earrings that go with that unicorn necklace are these cute little unicorn earrings. And then I stuck them into this foam sticker and added a couple other pairs, some rainbow and little sparkly pink stars, which were contributed by Denise L. She sent a bunch of earrings to me for shoe boxes and I've been using them throughout the year, but she's got those along with her necklace. And then I added a couple of friendship bracelets. This little unicorn one, actually, I mean, would you look at how <laughs> these look so similar? They look like they came together as a set, but they didn't. The unicorn fr friendship bracelet came in a set of a dozen friendship bracelets contributed by Stacy Berry. And then I added a butterfly friendship bracelet from Shein. And the last thing in her little jewelry pouch is a little ring, purple ring, contributed by Stacy Berry. She has a purple jump rope, a toothbrush with a cap and nail clippers, six my Little Pony bandages contributed by a viewer. A little mending kit from Joan Cowan. She's got one of those little sensory stretchy pals <laughs> contributed by Sally. It's a little unicorn. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> and it's purple. This is the second box this year that I've included some of the cute wall decor that Dollar Tree got in this year. It has a little hook on the back. I just think it's it would be fun for this age girl to be able to have something to decorate her space and make it personal. This girl has the same little zippered trinket bag as I showed in the box I shared on Monday and it's filled with the same hair accessories, those cute colorful scrunchies. The only thing that's different 
is her unicorn barrettes are a little bit different. Instead of a journal, I gave this little lady a unicorn sketch pad. It's a nice thick one. It also came from Big Lots. She could use it as a journal, but um, it's plain unlined paper inside. And I included a novelty pen. This one contributed by Miss Sally. Very cute and has a little key ring on the end of it. But if she'd like to use that as a sketchbook, she's got a beginner I draw fantasy with step-by-step uh, -step tutorials on how to draw cute, funny fantasy creatures. She's got all sorts of fun fantasy creatures to learn to draw. I think a girl this age would enjoy learning to draw. She's got some cute socks, also contributed by viewer Sally. One has a unicorn and the other is a rainbow stripe. She has a unicorn cross stitch kit contributed by Miss Sally. She has a purple comb from Angie, a green whistle from Amazon, a unicorn eraser. That's a, a straggler I found in my stash from a couple of years ago. She's got a little Barbie unicorn. That's from the Dollar Tree. And that can be Chelsea's little pet. Her coloring book is Girl Power from the Dollar Tree. 16 unique and empowering coloring images. I picked up several of these from DT because I thought the images were great and empowering for girls this age up to age 14. There's some great ones in here. And I slipped inside the front cover a couple of sheets of stickers, rainbow corns and unicorns. And then I also gave her a nice assortment of these pretty waterproof unicorn stickers from Shein. There's some really pretty ones. To color in that coloring book, she's got a pack of crayons, a purple spiral notebook for school, today's prayer. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I gave her a purple wooden cross from Hobby Lobby. She also has a little pad of magic paint posters also contributed by Miss Sally. And I've added a little package of Q-tips taped to the front cover because I noticed in the picture, that's what she's using to paint the posters. Each page comes with watercolors on the bottom to color the picture. Isn't that cute? She's got a pad of unicorn post-it notes and some pony and unicorn temporary tattoos from the Dollar Tree that I added some laminated instructions on how to use the tattoos. And that completes this box of unicorn magic for a five to nine year old girl. Thanks so much for coming back today and watching yet another unicorn shoe box. These are always a lot of fun to pack and I know loved by this age group. Thank you so much to all the viewers who contributed to this shoebox and others. You have blessed so many more children than I could have done all on my own, and I appreciate your love and generosity. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and comment, subscribe if you're not already, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.